accused of having sexual relations with my granddaughter. I did not do this. I know for a fact I've never ever did this and never have thought about this. About three months ago, my daughter had called me up and um, was talking to me about her washer and dryer and I said, hey, I've got you know a set for you. Well, my granddaughter got on the phone and asked me, hey, Grandpa, can I go swimming? I picked my granddaughter up. My granddaughter came over to swim in the pool. And after her dad picked her up, Taylor called me and was accusing me of touching my granddaughter inappropriately. And I told them, no, this never happened. They had the phone on speakerphone. And in the background, I could hear my granddaughter saying, yes, grandpa, you did. And I said to her, no, I didn't. And she said, yes, you did. I honestly didn't know how to feel until after all of this, like kind of after I said, you know, take her to the emergency room. Um, I went to the front desk to make sure that they held all videotapes of me being in the pool with my granddaughter, you know, every event. So that way then the police could, you know, see this. I've heard that I've been accused of this by her in the past, but it's she's never brought it up. So I don't know if this is something she's been trying to set up for a long time or why she's doing this. I, I just don't understand any of it. Because if I've been accused of this by her in the past, then why didn't she do something about it then? Why wait so long? And why have me around my granddaughter if that's the way she felt or she thought something was going on? Why not confront me way back then? Here's the thing. I could never, ever, ever see my granddaughter again. Even when I'm proven innocent because I won't ever be able to trust her my daughter or her husband, none of them. I do believe that something happened to her and somebody is coaching her and trying to protect somebody else. And I don't know why they're picking me as the victim. Your daughter's at the age where she can really verbalize and... Yeah. And exactly what does she say? Well, she came home and she didn't say anything. She's just eating dinner. And then she asked to take a bath, and she takes a bath only every other day. So I asked her, well, why do you need to take a bath? I assume maybe she had an accident. She's still kind of doing that, yeah. and we can't understand why. And she said, no, Mommy, I didn't have an accident. I said, well, you're not going to be in trouble. Just please tell me. And she said, my grandpa touched me. And did you ask, what do you mean by... Yep. And she... And then she said he used his fingers uh, and this is the very first time that your daughter has said something like this? Yeah. I you never f***ing hit you in a kitchen! No, what? Why did you never f***ing tell her? Oh, Taylor, this the is about my daughter. The little one drunk. He abuses you. Yep. You abuse so him. So what? Uh, I am curious. Your, your father brings something up. Do you and your husband abuse each other? I mean, maybe. We have, yeah, we have in the past, yes, Why we have. are you abusing each other? Because he's an alcoholic. Okay, so she turns 18, she gets in contact with you, and when she says, hey, I'd like to develop a relationship with you, you're my father, how did you feel about that? I was happy about that. So you let her move in? Yes. So then she uh, marries Taylor, right? Yep. And she has uh, this little girl, and now you have a granddaughter, you must be excited, right? Yes. I was very excited and very happy to be a part of her life. <laughs> I never, ever would hurt that little girl for anything. I would kill somebody for her. And I would kill you. <laughs> um, now, your wife mentions that you're an alcoholic. Was. I mean, yeah, I do like alcohol. I guess I could consider myself still an alcoholic, but I quit drinking like three months ago. Three months ago. So it's a good start. Have you beat your wife? Um, I did one time when I blacked out. One that time? Was, that was five years ago. So if you're willing to cross the line with, you know, beating your wife, why not your daughter? This is my point. 
Did you ever talk to Alvin again? Mm, I'd say probably a few weeks. When he harassed us at Walmart. Mm -hmm. He harassed you at Walmart? Yeah, yep. Uh, uh, yeah, and when you were at Walmart, you, what, what happened at Walmart? Uh, we were just shopping. You know, we had seen him in the store, but we didn't, like, encounter him. You avoided like, him. Yeah, we basically avoided him. We went and checked out. We go back out. He's waiting outside, 20 feet away, on the park outside, just sitting outside. OK. And then decides to follow us to our parking spot. Gets behind us. Oh, did you take her in? Yeah. He was asking if you took yeah. your daughter. Yeah. And? And we said, yeah, we did. And they're like, what did they say? He's trying to ask us what they said. And it's like. So what was wrong, what's wrong about this story? Mm. Nothing. OK, nothing. Yeah. Uh, I'll answer it for you. Nothing. Oh, really? He uh, smashed, you threatened took... to smash your head into the concrete, okay, remember? I'm going to have you back out in a second. And then you can tell me all the horrors of that Walmart story. Even when you're not drinking, does your wife get angry? Yes. OK. Does she get angry at your daughter? No. Never. Not Never. To, no, not to like where she's screaming and yelling okay. at her, no. Let me ask you the question again. Does your wife ever get angry at your daughter? I would say yes. OK. Alvin came here and he took a lie detector test. And we asked him, did you ever sexually touch your granddaughter while caring for her at your hotel at any time? He answered no. Did you ever touch your granddaughter inappropriately for your own sexual gratification at any time? He answered no, and the results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Alvin told the truth. Told the truth. Say it! He's upset. I told the truth! Yeah. They know it! And we asked you, did you coach your daughter by helping her say that Alvin touched her inappropriately? You answered no. Did you coach your daughter by telling her to say Alvin exposed his private area to her when asked? You answered no. Are you fabricating this story that your daughter was touched inappropriately by Alvin? You answered no. Did you ever touch your daughter inappropriately for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. All four of those results came back the same, and they came back that Taylor told the truth. <laughs> Sasha. Took a lot of talk to test. And we asked her, do you know if Taylor ever touched your daughter inappropriately for his own sexual gratification? You answered no, and you told the truth. Are you fabricating the story that your daughter was touched inappropriately by Alvin, your father? You answered no, you told the truth. Did you? Yeah, I would never make that up about you. For no reason at all, ever. Yeah. OK. Did you coach your daughter by helping her say that her grandfather, Alvin, touched her inappropriately? She answered no. She did not tell the truth. Sure. Did you coach your daughter by telling her to say her grandfather, Alvin, exposed his private area to her when asked? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. That's a lie. Are you jealous of your relationship that your dad has with your daughter? That he didn't raise you, but now he's enjoying all this great time with your, no. with your daughter. No. Actually, in fact, what I would tell Taylor all the time is I like that. I like that he's at least being in her life because, you know, he wasn't in mine. Get off Get my off. stage. Yeah. Why don't you yell it at her? Get off of Steve's stage! I just hope that you get to a good place where you're able someday to have a relationship with your granddaughter. Good luck I hope to you. so, too. I was ready. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.